Well, I did a little bit of research. I want to find out who owns Adbusters. And guess what? The owner is Kale, and I'll probably spell his or pronounce his name. Kale Lands. To me, the most evil man on the planet. Here is the head of the snake. Uh, and guess where he lives? In my country. In my province. Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada. You think the hub is going on in Wall Street? No. This guy knew. Knew where to start everything. Here's his email. Editor at adbusters.org. And did a little bit of research. He's kind of against a few, you know, social problems. You know, he's sort of this activist. At least that's what he says. Um, but he's manipulating and controlling this whole thing. Uh, why? Because he's got a newspaper that everybody's influenced over. He's putting out demands that I didn't agree to. Plus, if you give your power away, you give you know the elites the power to solve your problem for you they d the elites do not want you to solve your problem because you might have a good idea that they don't want so that's what adbusters wants is we don't want you to solve the problem they want to solve the problem guess what he's going to profit off of it um what else is like i am against this is this is the one thing that uh let me put his name up there so you can all see it. Because he's friggin' guilty of sin. But as long as I'm accused of not belonging to Occupy Wall Street, and I belong to an organization that's outside of Occupy Wall Street, okay, I'll take you at your word. I belong to a completely different organization than this guy. And who do I stand for? Who am I representing? Well, you know what? Kind of had a long history of abuse kind of supporting anybody on the planet that is experiencing any form of abuse. Um, I've been forced into extreme poverty. <laughs> I worked my friggin' ass off so the point that I'm crippled because I was working seven days a week, some days 12 hours a day, going home to work another day's job and being a parent to a whole pile of kids <laughs> and not getting paid any money to do so. So I would be against anybody that's not getting paid for doing a job. I would be against um, anybody that doesn't actually follow any laws. I would be against these judges that don't know how to tell the difference between right and wrong. I'd be against all of these corrupt police. I'd be against <laughs> these greedy, greedy, greedy people like uh, uh, Russell Simmons, who wants to take over this little global campaign and say bankers didn't really do anything wrong. They broke laws, they committed crimes that, you know, they caused, I mean, don't tell me that people didn't die because of what those bankers did. They were the cause of a few people's death. There's no two ways about it. Why? Because it caused stress. Stress causes illness, you die from your friggin' illness. So one way or another, whether you can see the human footprint in that one or not, just because they broke laws, and increases somebody's level of stress causing illness which results in death you're guilty i'm sorry that's what i'm against if you know child sexual abuse is who i stand for i think that's wrong and we need to stop that torture i think is wrong war killing all of those things i am against that's the group that i belong to but this guy says i don't belong to his group so what does he really stand for? Why is he giving out our demands and yet he didn't even ask me what my demands are? Did your demands get any asked? You know, did you get a vote in saying what, what, what your demands are? No, it's all about this guy's demands. He wants the money. He wants to be the hero. Well, you know what? Let's make him the most evil man on the planet for trying to manipulate an entire globe into our, our destruction. Because clearly if I don't belong to your group, what group do you belong to then? Everything that is, oh, you think sexual abuse is good? You think poverty is good? You think killing people is good? You think Wall Street is good? Because those are things I'm against. But this guy thinks that I don't belong to his group. So as long as you think I don't belong to your group, who do you belong to? So I'll write this guy a little letter, you know, and say, hey, in those little demands, how come you didn't listen to me? How come I don't get a voice in this 99%? How come you're the only one that gets the voice? 
How come the only people that get a voice are people like Russell Simmons, who, who, who openly admits saying that bankers didn't do anything wrong? It's just that they gave too much money to a politician. Well, politicians accepted it. It was a game that everybody agreed with. So, who's this guy? Who's this guy and why is he not listening to everybody else? Why can he afford to have such a global voice when everybody else has no voice? What makes him think he's so much more special? Because he says words that you like? It's, it's a typical polit political game. Obama said how many wonderful things. But look at his actions. Does his actions go in line with his words? This is what this guy's doing. He's got some really, really great words. He wants you to be in agreement with the path he wants to guide you down. He's going to say all the great, pretty words that are, you know, oh, yeah, he's standing for what I'm saying. But look at his actions. Look at his actions. He ended up putting a demand that I didn't get a vote on. Anybody in the world, 99% of us, we're all over the world. Did anybody all over the world get a say in what the demand should be? No, he wants his demands. He thinks his demands are solving any kind of problem. Sorry, the first problem is I don't want these crazy insane people to solve my problem so I would never ever ever put a demand out there. I would be designing systems that allow me to have a voice constantly, all the time, all the time, all the time. I want a system that if I got a problem I can actually input my problem and guess what? It gets solved. <laughs> Not like our current system where you input your problem and nobody hears the damn thing you say. And that's what this guy wants. You know, he wants to design systems so you never have a say. He's the only guy that has a say. He's the only guy that has the ad busters that can put all the words out there that says, oh, if this guy's rich enough and can have his, you know, influence people, he must be the guy that's right. While being so damn wrong. That's my first objection. I didn't make any demands because I don't want anybody else solving my problems. I want all of our problems to be solved at the ground level. So this guy's guiding you down the path to a global destruction uh, because he agrees with everything I'm against. <laughs> I'm against child sexual abuse, so that means he's in agreement with child sexual abuse. I'm against poverty, so that means he's for poverty. He profits off prof po people that are in poverty. I'm uh, against torture. This guy must be in support. Everything that I am against, if I don't belong to his group, that means he's in support. So know who you're following. Know who the snake, the head of the snake is. And who gave him the money? What's his background? I'm going to do some more research on this guy to find out exactly who's controlling this guy. Because somebody's above him. He's just the mouthpiece. But anyways, peace out. Love to y'all. Don't give up hope. We're still 99%. All is good. All we had to do is, you know, let the idiots show themselves. Uh, you know, this guy, sure, he got the world together. Good for you. Now that we're together, we don't necessarily have to follow the guy that just started it. Just because he says we all need to get together doesn't mean we all need to get together so he can control us and guide us down the wrong path. It means we need to get, get together, get a little smarter, have conversations. We need to design systems where you actually get to be heard. And you know how you get to be heard? It's because you actually feel you got heard. <laughs> and, and you know how we get to solve problems? Because your problem is solved. <laughs> if no problem is solved, you didn't have a voice and there was no problem solving. So it is, we have the tools. We're more than capable of being able to solve global problems, but this guy doesn't know how it's done yet. So um, it, just don't believe these people. You know, it, it is a matter of we're going to have to design systems outside of the ones that this guy is controlling. Everybody that's down in, in Wall Street um, designing these new systems, any system that's coming out of those OccupyWallStreet.org or com or whatever, I would never ever participate in any one of those systems because behind the scenes they're manipulated to make you think you have a choice, but you will never have a choice. And we simply don't have time to play that game to find out, oh, he's wrong. We don't have time to elect another Obama just to find out he's just an evil snake. <laughs> you know, we have to know for sure without a doubt we're going down the wrong path or the right path. Right now, we've got more than enough warning signs that says this ain't a good idea at all. So let's just formulate behind the scenes 
and come up with some kind of system that gives everybody a voice. I have a pretty good idea of what kind of system we need to have and it would work if you feel you got hurt and your problem would be solved. So um, I need to test it out and see. <laughs> but I know that I want to be heard and there's not one single person, even the elites, even the one percent, every single human on the planet needs to feel that they got a say in it and that they win. Everybody on the planet has to come out the winner with no losers. If I'm right, everybody would be a winner and there won't be any losers, not even the elites. I mean, everybody wins if we, and that, you know what? That is what's something new. That's something completely different that nobody can comprehend yet. But it doesn't mean it's not true. And I've seen some other comments. This is one of my most favorite uh, phrases that I live by. Um, the only thing that is impossible is the limited mind in believing in the possibility. If you can't believe in the possibility, then you create the impossible. But if you can believe in the possibility, then you create the impossible. So that's what we need to do, is create the impossible. That ain't impossible. I've had a hell of a lot of things in my life that were impossible. And guess what? I made it possible every time. Going to school, I thought it was impossible. Those projects I thought were impossible. I finished them and got high grades all the time. World peace feels like it's impossible. But I ain't giving up. It's possible. I believe in world peace and I think we'll get it. But we got to know who the snakes are and not follow them. He needs to change his ways. Send him an email. Let me see whether he responds. Pretty sure.